morning, Colts. I'm Neha, and I'm one of your KTV hosts for today. And I'm Lauren, and this is KTV for Monday, May 9th, 2022. Let's start off today's episode with a friendly reminder to get your overdue library books in so other people can enjoy them. Thanks, Neha, for that friendly reminder. As boring as that sounds, we have some fun things coming up. This Friday is Friday the 13th. Make sure to watch a scary movie. As fun as that sounds, this Friday the 13th is also Sports Day. Let's watch a video from Leadership about it. Colts, Sports Day is on Friday the 13th. Make sure to show your spirit by dressing up in all your sports glow. Here are some examples. You can wear your favorite jerseys to show your spirit. You can dress up and match with your friends. You can show support for your favorite teams. Or you can wear your own sports uniform. Don't forget, Sports Day is Friday the 13th. Um, thanks leadership. On the topic of sports, I can't run at all. I barely make it under the 12 minute mark in P, 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 E. You can barely make it under the 12 minute mark? <laughs> well, same. Let's head into the sports corner with Caleb to see how we can get those times up. Okay. <gasps> oh. Good morning, Colts, and welcome to the Sports Corner. In Kenora Sports News, last Thursday, the Colts track team finished off their season in great form. Both girls' teams added pennants to our gym, with the 8th grade boys came, coming in second, and the very small 7th grade boys' team placing third. Highlights of the 7th grade girls' wins include 7 out of 10 first place finishes. Isabella Ferrando only wanted blue ribbons and anchored the 4x100 te relay team to first place, winning the 100 and the high jump. Sienna Vital got her share of ribbons, helping the 4x100 team, taking first in the 400, third in the 200, and fifth in the 100. Bertha Ars took two first places in the 4x100 and 200. Vivian Fan was the fourth member of the 4x100 team, fourth in the 200, and six in the 100. Ava DeRosa, Brooklyn Bashkarini, Hallie Bushy, and Freya Hurley combined to win the 4x100 relay. Emma Weinzinger and LED Webb went first and second in the shot put, with Hadley getting fourth. Haley Martin powered home a third in the 1600 with Isabella Woldemore right behind her. Isabella also added a third in the 800. Tomorrow, we will highlight the eighth grade girls' accomplishments. In other, worth, in other Kenilworth sports news, Remember, Colts, the Trevor Smith Wrestling Camp is going on from today to Thursday at 3.30 to 5 in the multi, open to all students. Remember, you don't have to have prior wrestling experience to go. Open to grades 5 to 9. That's it for sports. Now back to the KTV studio. Jeez Louise, I just got super hungry after that workout. First of all, you never work out. And second of all, you're always hungry. <laughs> we must feed you. So you have the choice of pepperoni pizza, chicken sandwiches, cheese and green chili tamale, and sun butter and jelly sandwiches. Hmm, I'll take the pepperoni pizza. Sounds delicious. But Neha, I can't eat if I'm cold. I have one thing to say, Lauren. Suck it up. Well, let's just go into the weather studio with Kira if you're so picky about the weather. <laughs> Good morning, Colts. Welcome back to the Weather Studio. I'm Kira. Today we have the highs of 54 degrees with a chance of rain and the lows of 35 degrees. On Tuesday, we will have the highs of 56 degrees again with also a chance of rain and the, the lows of 38 degrees. On Wednesday, we have the highs of 62 degrees with sunny weather and the lows of 40, uh, 41 degrees. On Thursday, we have the highs of 63 degrees with the lows of 42 degrees with partly cloudy weather. Now a fact about weather. How much water vapor can air hold? The maximum amount depends on air temperature. Warmer air can hold more water vapor within it. That's why the muggy stays usually happen during summer heat. As the temperature goes down, air can hold less vapor and most of it turns into liquid. That's it for weather, Colts. Remember to bring a jacket on Monday and Tuesday. Let's head back to the studio with Neha and Lauren. Thanks, sounds cute. Kira, th thanks, Kira. Sounds like reasonable weather to eat in, if I do say so myself. Really? You're still stuck on that. 
Anyways, I wonder if it was cold in the Battle of Vicksburg. So let's go The Battle of Vicksburg began on May 18, 1863 during the Civil War. Vicksburg had a very strategic position as it would give control over the Mississippi River. Supplies, communication, and goods were on the line. This is one of the most important battles in the war. After a 47-day siege, the Confederacy surrendered to the Union on July 4, 1863. The Confederacy suffered heavy casualties, losing many more men than the Union. This was a turning point in the Civil War, a crucial victory for the Union. Thanks, Kevin. That's all for KCV today. Remember to get all overdue library books in. And remember to, that Friday the 13th is going to have the sports day on it, and it's also going to be a day where you can watch scary movies. And also remember that the weather is okay to eat in. Whatever. And, and that's KTV. KTV.